<laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. I figured it's a 200 FPS pistol. It's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not. It wasn't bad. Okay. So far, I've just scared the hell out of us. That's all. All right, no problem. Uh, I grew up in a small town in California called Lompoc. We got a bunch of flower fields, real pretty. And uh, chasing the tech dream, I moved up to Silicon Valley for Y2K. High stress work, got into airsoft. <laughs> well, I used to tell my coworkers, I, I go out on the weekends and I shoot teenagers BB guns, and they say, oh, that sounds like fun, let's go do that. <laughs> but, but really it's a, uh, Electric and gas guns shoot these uh, little plastic BBs, little cornstarch BBs, and uh, take as much gear, as little gear as you want. And you go out there and solo in teams, whatever group you can organize, and uh, try to find the enemy and uh, shoot at them. And when you get hit, you hear it. Sometimes you feel it. Put your hand up, say you're hit, or pull out a dead rag. Go back to spawn and wait for the game to start again. Got him, he's down, he's down. So Ravenwood is uh, it's our team um, from a TV series called Jericho. They were a private military force and they showed up and wiped everybody out. Just thought they were pretty cool. And uh, bought some patches, started recruiting people. Mostly get some, uh, we got really clean players, no cheaters, nobody really mouths off, nobody ever gets kicked off the field on our team. So that's good. And we get invited to all the good games and all the private events and everybody really appreciates that. So the problem moment in, uh, in Ravenwood is that uh, we get out there, they always recognize us. Pe people know that if there's an objective, we're going to be getting it. People know that if there's a team to fight with or play with be on your team, you want to team up with us. You don't want to be against us because we're going we're gonna to go and get the objective. We're going we're gonna to figure out how you're playing. We're going to put people, we're going to put rounds on target. Okay, so I carry pretty much everything you would see on a normal soldier in active engagement in uh, urban combat or in the mountains, uh, doing a convoy sort of thing. I have a, my primary weapon is an F, a Magpul ACR. Uh, the real weapon would fire 223 or 556, uh, selectable by changing the internals. Um, this one's an electric gun. It shoots with a lithium battery. Shoots pretty much like a laser beam. I shoot at you. I know it's hitting you. That's pretty cool. I attach it with a one-point sling. It lets me put it behind my back when I transition to some other things. I've, I've played a bunch of team sports, but I don't remember being into them like this. Like, uh, it's totally, it's totally chaotic. You don't, people are going, what, they're doing what they're doing. They have their own agenda. If their gun's broken or it works or it's out of batteries. Or it's just, just like absolute mess out there. And then, uh, then you're like, hey, well you and me, we see what we gotta get. Why don't we go get it, right? So you can band together with people out in the field you don't even know, you don't know their name, you don't know where they came from, you don't know how much money they make. It's just, it's irrelevant. No, seriously, you gotta suck it. Oh, great. <laughs> pull it out, it's like a square bottle. Oh, yeah. Just, just pull the nipple out, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, man, you got it all over yourself, though. Oh, yeah. You know, the great thing about Airsoft is that it, uh, You'd expect it to be just a lot of people that are really enthusiastic about military, maybe fantasize about being in the military, but never joined it. But it turns out that uh, it draws all ages and people that are actually in the military and active duty, retired duty, even people that went to Nam and went through the real shit. When I was growing up, I did uh, volunteer search and rescue through the uh, local sheriff's department. And so I have a lot of disaster preparedness and organization planning. And then I got into rock climbing and uh, I've done a bit of trekking in different countries and stuff, so I really enjoy the outdoors. I love getting out there and exercising and hiking and stuff like that. And I grew up in junior NRA. I was a competitive rifleman, um, but I don't want to shoot people with real guns. I mean, I don't want them to die. Um, but it takes a lot of skill and a lot of precision to correctly operate a farm. It's something that's uh, in the movies and Hollywood and the video games. It looks like it's simple. It looks like it's just a tr trivial skill that all men should be able to have, but it turns out that it's really hard. And uh, putting that together with the, uh, the real complex competitive analysis and uh, st real-time strategy that you, that you get in war, it's nothing like a, I play a lot of board games and competitive games. This is the ultimate game.